So, as you already know, I have bought my tickets for the Philippines for May 2024. And that is why, lately, I have been reacting to videos that talk more about the country of the Philippines, the islands of the Philippines, the people of the Philippines, tips and tricks for when I visit the Philippines, which makes sense. I am gathering information that can help me uh, navigate the Philippines once I visit it next year in May, okay? But uh, it is true that most videos that you can find on YouTube, on social media about the Philippines are videos that only say good things about the Philippines. The Philippines is amazing. The Philippines is paradise. The Philippines is gorgeous. The people are sweet and nice and this and that. You know what I'm saying? Which is probably true. But... Uh, Life in general isn't always just uh, beautiful, you know? There is the good and there is the bad and there is the great. So today we will be reacting to a video that apparently will tell us the truth, the real truth about the Philippines. So I'm guessing that this person will, will also say some negative things about the Philippines, all right? So the title reads, The Truth About the Philippines, What They Don't Tell You. And in order to travel to a country that you're not familiar with, you need to know the good, but also the bad, so that you can stay away from the bad, you know, and prepare yourself for that eventual bad if you eventually come across the bad you know what i'm saying so yeah i think this is going to be very interesting uh if you are new to the channel welcome maligayang pagbabalik sa akin channel ako si Ovela. i am a sound engineer beat maker and content creator on youtube and without further ado let's jump right into it Hello and welcome to the first episode of The Philippines Truth. I'm making this channel to basically highlight all the lies that have been coming out from the Philippines from recent YouTubers. Oh been... snap! Lies from recent YouTubers. I wonder if this person is going to enumerate and divulge who these YouTubers are. Because clearly this person is trying to hide uh, their identity by changing the tonality of their uh, voice. You know, they are pitching down their voice so that we don't recognize them. Plus, it doesn't seem like they are going to be showing their face, which I have to admit does not make me trust them tremendously. You know what I'm saying? But let's watch the video and see what they have to say first. The Philippines for over 10 years and I have never seen so much social media misleading people coming to the Philippines. On this channel I will tell you the truth about women, finances, business, the Filipino people. I will share real stories around the Philippines. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I don't think it's fair that these YouTubers, vloggers, and mm -hmm. social media influencers are not telling you the complete truth about the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course, this is a beautiful country with beautiful beaches, islands, and lots of nature. However, there's a whole other side that not ah, many people talk about. I love this shot. This, uh, this is reminding me of the TV show Maria Clara at Ibarra. There is a scene where uh maria so one of the marias uh shows up at this place and she starts talking to to jose rizal you know um and as you know i am honest right when i don't like something i tell you when i like something i tell you just as well right so 
when I visit the Philippines next year and come back to Canada and start, you know, editing my videos, my vlogs and everything, I will also probably make a video about the cons and pros of the Philippines. So I will definitely tell you what I liked, you know, and what I disliked about my experience in the Philippines. And my intent is not to talk down on the Filipino people, mm -hmm. but there are some glaring problems here. Oh, starting for sure. with the people. Now, many people think that the Filipinos are friendly, which they can be. However, a lot of times they want something from you. Starting from when you first land in this country to the moment that you leave, they will try to squeeze some money from you one way or another. I have I'm been told to that. I'm going to go much deeper into this topic later on. Going on to the women. Yes, the Filipino. I have Filipino friends here in Montreal who told me to be careful. That yes, they can be friendly, but they will definitely not want something in return, but kind of expect something in return, you know? Which is kind of understandable. I don't think that all Filipinos are like that, but someone who's just trying to... Someone who doesn't have the means, you know, to have like a, a like a decent life. Yeah, I mean, you can help them out with a little bit of money, you know, for in exchange for, for their help or whatever. I don't know, for directions, for instance, you know, I don't know. These are very attractive and caring, but however, many of them have children already, mm. they have many relationships, or they just are simply after you to get something from you. In the Philippines, the wealth gap is quite obvious. You have the extremely poor yeah. and the extremely wealthy here. The same can be applied for foreigners when they come here. If you have a little bit of money, you can get yourself a nice girl. However, if you're older, then that's not the case. If you're older and have some money as your pension or some savings, then you can most likely get yourself a young woman that is from the province. Now, there's a difference between the province and the city girls because the province girls will settle for anything. They do not care how old you are, mm. where you come from, as long as you can provide them with a better life situation. The better off Filipinas do not associate with foreigners that are much older than them mm -hmm. because of societal pressure and shame on their family. Okay. Keep that in mind. Although it is much cheaper than the United States of America, it's still rather expensive if comparing it to other developing countries. Keep that in mind if you're planning on coming here and only living off a few hundred dollars a month. It will not happen. You will need a couple thousand if you want to have a regular standard of living. Yeah. If you want air conditioning, a kitchen, electricity, some of the usual things that you consider uh, normal back home, you definitely have to pay for those things. Of course. Speaking of, course. of electricity, there are lots of blackouts here. Electricity. I did react to a video where uh, I was shocked to see how expensive electricity was in the Philippines. On the list of the guy, the vlogger that was showing us around the Philippines, electricity was the most expensive thing. It was as expensive as it is here in Canada. Or even more, I think, which is insane. It goes out quite often, so you are forced to get a generator mm. or stay in a condo that already has a backup generator. Now, these are all topics that I will go much deeper into, and I'll cover them. In this channel, I will also share some stories that other expats have told me with actual footage and maybe searching through different groups and social media to bring those to your attention. I just see this person said that they lived in the Philippines for 10 years, but we know nothing about their background. We don't know if they are Filipino, if they are half Filipino, have something else, or if they are just foreigners who lived in the Philippines for over 10 years, you know? Don't want people coming here and getting taken advantage of because it can be really stressful coming from a new country. Mm. And the first thing they have to deal with is people trying to take advantage of you. Yeah. If you are older and require medication, it can be difficult obtaining the meds that you need. They are expensive or just not available, just like many other things in the Philippines. This is very common at restaurants, at services, different places. Thankfully, I mean, I think, I mean, 
possibly someone could take advantage of me when I visit the Philippines. I highly doubt it because thankfully I grew up in developing countries. So I know how to maneuver around developing countries because I am originally from Algeria, which is a developing country. I lived three years in Morocco, who, which is also considered as a developing country. Even if you ask Moroccans, they'd be like, no, we are a developed country. <laughs> uh, I lived in Kenya for five years, which is also considered a developing country, you know? So I have experience in, uh, in develop with developing countries, but you never know, man. Weird stuff can still happen. So you go to many Filipinos will not have what you're looking for. Being out of stock is a common issue, mainly mm. due to logistics, yeah. transportation, and incompetence. Filipinos are on island time, they don't care as much, and island they simply time. are lazy at times. Yeah. And getting the items that you need can be very challenging and frustrating. See, I am used to that, island time. We don't call it island time where I'm from, we just call it African time, okay? People are always late. And yes, I've heard that Filipinos are also late. So I do expect that from Filipinos, so I won't be shocked. It will piss me off because that is definitely not my thing. I, I'm always early. I'm always actually early, okay? Because it's a, it's, a, it's a topic of respect. It's a question of respect, you know what I'm saying? It will piss me off, but I won't be surprised by it. If uh, I need to go see somebody and they come late, you know, yeah, uh, Filipino uh, island time. It is what it is. You're not gonna change that on your own, you know? At times, life-altering, because if you're a disabled person, it can really damage mm. your health. Speaking of disability, do not even consider having a fun walk in regular cities, as there mm. are no sidewalks here. Unless you go to a major developed area within the city, it's very difficult to find uh, walking pedestrian lanes, yeah, or just even on the streets, uh... you are always battling with stray dogs, vendors, food sellers, all the type of people that can be on the street. And here, uh, there are many beggars. One more thing that not many people mention is there are many homeless people in the Philippines and they use their children, newborn babies, yeah. as bait. Yeah. They carry them around and ask you for money. See, again, that does not surprise me because I have experienced that in Algeria, for instance. You know, there are a lot of beggars in Algeria that also use their kids and it's heartbreaking. You know, it's hard not to actually pay attention and give them something, but I'm used to it, so... <sighs> and they can be very aggressive at times, knocking on taxi windows to try mm. to get your attention, True. pulling on your arm, or simply not leaving you alone until you give them something. This happens a lot more often than one might think, or as often as people on these vlogs or YouTube channels like to show you. There simply is just too many things to try and mention in this video. However, I will be making much more in-depth list of things to go over with examples and try to paint a more clear accurate. picture for you more if you're accurate. considering yeah. the Philippines. Now, I highly recommend that you do your research before coming here. That's it exactly what I'm doing. Your country if you know what you're doing. Do not come here specifically for a woman because you will be disappointed most likely. You can find yourself a good woman here, but you have to be here to find those people. Many online women lie about I don't think that you need or should visit a country with high expectations. You know, you just have to do your research, be prepared, have your basic needs with you, and then and then just, you know, uh, welcome anything that may come across your path, you know? Just enjoy the ride. Be respectful to people and they will be respectful to you in return, you know? And then, you know, be curious, talk to people, try things here and there, but always, always be careful. And don't go overboard uh, with things, you know? Don't, don't dwell in the extremes, because that's where things uh, start to get uh, a little 
dangerous in my opinion you know drinking too much partying too much uh, and stuff like that their age their marital status or having children that's another issue divorce is illegal in the philippines true many women are already married true they still want to find a foreign husband yeah or boyfriend that's crazy to be with or simply for them to support their families yeah so these are some topics i'll be going into press the bell notification that you get notified when I release these content videos. Write your experience in the comments. Let me know that I'm not the only one mm. that has experienced this. We should read I some comments. this channel to build a community of us brothers to not be taken advantage of by anyone in the Philippines or any other country. Now, I've been here over a decade and have slowly noticed a change within this society, becoming much more westernized as well as much more advantageous of foreigners. There used to be a time where you can come here and enjoy the beauty of the surrounding beaches and the people. However, with the rise of social media, now it is easy for people to communicate across the world. So keep posted as I have many stories to share with you guys. In the next video, I will tell you top 10 lies about the Philippines. Top 10 lies. We make a list of things and go in depth in each one of those topics. Let me know what you think. Have you been to the Philippines before? Do you agree with what I'm saying or do you strongly disagree? I understand that we all have different experiences. However, majority of people only like to talk about mm. the honeymoon period. Rainbows. Thank you. Thank you. That is so true. And not just about vloggers and the Philippines, but also, for instance, in the realm of reaction videos. Have you noticed that most reactors uh, everything that they say is like uh, like he said it's the honeymoon phase meaning in this example here it's always uh, uh praise 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 they never tell you when they don't like something you know because they know it will deter some viewers and you know they will get they will likely most likely get less views meaning less money you know and that, I'm not about that. I'm not about that, man. Like, I cannot live like that. I will feel terrible about myself if I lie to you. Because basically, not telling you the whole truth, it's basically lying to you. And I feel like that's what most reactors do, you know? So, yeah. Sunshines and butterflies. And mm -hmm. unicorns are not reality. Yeah, We live in exactly. a real world. People like you who have worked hard in this world to have a chance to retire or move abroad deserve better. We do not deserve to be taken advantage of yeah. or lied to. Maybe I will receive some hate messages due I to this video. Not. However, it's worth telling the truth and informing everyone about the reality that not everything is as beautiful as it might seem across the YouTube channels in the Philippines. There are still many, many issues that we as a community can fix together or at least bring attention to. Mm -hmm. So I'll see you in our next video where we'll talk about 10 different things, 10 biggest lies about the Philippines. See you on the next video. So I tend to believe this guy because everything that he said are things that I heard prior to reacting to this video. So I tend to believe him, but not necessarily 100%. I will wait, you know, to visit the Philippines and experience the Philippines myself before uh, believing, you know, 100% everything that they mentioned. And like I said, I will let you know about my experiences in the Philippines when I come back and I will let you know what I disliked and what I liked. And I already know approximately uh, what you know that list is going to look like you know because like i said i have a lot of experience with third world countries as a matter of fact i am going back to my third world country so my developing country algeria in january in january you know prior to visiting the philippines so i am familiar with developing countries i know what to expect and that's why it's always funny to me when you guys uh, obviously, you see me all excited about visiting the Philippines. I bought my tickets. I'm ready to go, right? But it's funny to me to see you warn me. You know, you keep warming, war warning me and telling me, oh, uh, I hope your expectations are not too high. You know, uh, be careful, this and that. Thank you. I appreciate your, um, 
your concern, but I think I will be okay because like I said, I have experience with developing country and people from developing countries as well. Uh, now, I think we should check out some comments because I think it could be juicy. So the first comment says, worst scam is you get married and get tortured and nagged for your whole life whilst she takes all your money and steals your house at any moment. Be careful. The next comment says, finally someone telling the truth about the dark side of the Philippines. I lived in Cebu City for nearly three years and you're telling the truth that all of the other vloggers omit or just don't want to tell you or they simply haven't lived there long enough to know all of this. This is pessimistic but true. Or perhaps these vloggers because they are let's just say wealthy, relatively wealthy, they only uh spend their time and live in the nicest areas of the philippines you know what i'm saying so they are not exposed to the dark side of the philippines it's a possibility you know but i'm sure some of them just omit and just they just don't want to talk about it because they know that's not what's going to get them views uh another person says some people take offense when something is revealed that is unpleasant that's exactly what i was saying like uh, in this video but after living and traveling in the philippines for nearly three years i can vouch for the accuracy touched on here there is a darker side and reporting on it is not mean or cruel it is simply revealing the whole truth unpleasant as that may be this is called fair and balanced there you go because life is mostly uh, gray you know it's not dark only dark and white actually it's never just dark and white it's 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 great uh reporting and since people watch a video like this to see what life is like here they are entitled to the whole truth and not just the nice things exactly and that pertains to reaction videos as well reactors stop only praising for the love of god as that would be dishonest and irresponsible there you go and you know most uh, of my viewers when uh, you know they tell me why they appreciate my channel the thing that comes back the most is my freaking honesty <laughs> you know they're like yeah because you don't sugarcoat things when you like something you say it when you don't you say it as well uh, another one says, I hear this from many expats and I experience the same in other poor countries uh, well, the Philippines is a developing country. Uh, I was in Central America traveling. Everywhere I went, I was treated like an ATM. Whew. I know I got scammed a lot, but I didn't know the prices. Yeah, unfortunately, the grown-ups used the kids as beggars like in the Philippines, and they wouldn't let me be at peace. It was not peaceful at all. It made me not want to go outside the US. There you go. For instance, I know that when I go to a developing country, I should not uh, dress with my my favorite, you know, I guess fancy clothes. You know what I'm saying? Always hide your jewelry, for instance. You know, um, be careful, like put your hands in your pockets because you never know you can get pickpocketed at any time. You know, you should not basically uh, made them think that you have money. You know, like I'm aware of all of this because I went through it my entire life. Next, uh, this list of 10 is pretty much spot on. Well, this is not the list of 10 actually. Oh, wait a minute. The video changed. Let me go back to, to the other video. I think the video switched to the list of 10. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you'd like me to react to that list as well. It could be very interesting. All right, so the first comment of the video that we actually reacted to is, nobody was lying. They just chose to show the beauty of the Philippines instead of showing the bad side. All the problems you cited goes the same with any other countries like the US. No, 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 no. Like I said, if you constantly omit and only showcase the beauty of a, of a person or of a content, it's basically the same as lying. You know, because you're not being 100% truthful, you know, like 
you're telling the people oh the philippines is just this amazing country when in reality when they visit they will clearly experience the bad side of the philippines so you see it's a lie uh, another comment says, I just got back from the Philippines after 50 years and 7 months. Holy moly. The people are sincere, friendly and helpful. I tried to pay tips for help and most turned it down. Davao is the area where I visited. No smoking or drinking while in the streets. The people are helpful. About the women, you don't have to go out from the USA to have women interested in on you in you you mean because you have money poverty lots but almost common in all ex-spanish colony countries overall i love it and after 50 years i'm glad i came back i'm planning to bring my whole family in davao and call it the day it's poor country but they don't have homeless and druggies like i see in california i don't know man i don't really trust this comment uh another comment says uh Having been to the Philippines so many times, your review was so incre incredibly accurate. I tried so hard to counter you and disagree, but it was impossible. Every country has its issues, and yes, parts of the Philippines are an island paradise, but the people are more complex, especially for older men like myself. The only thing I would add to this video is most of these women will have a foreign man in a long-distance relationship, but will also have local men. I think he mentioned it in the video. Being in an LDR is already hard regardless of where the women are from, but in Phil, building trust is the most difficult thing. Yikes, that's rough. So there you go. You have an idea of what people think about the bad side of the Philippines. And like I said, the Philippines has also its good side. You know, I've been reacting to a lot of videos that showcases the good side of the Philippines and I cannot wait to experience that. But I'm sure that occasionally I will see the bad side of the Philippines, you know? So yeah, uh, let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on the bad side of the Philippines, the truth about the Philippines. And if you are interested in a reaction uh, of his 10 list of whatever that was you know um let me know in the comment section below and i will react to it uh you can expect more reaction videos about the philippines you know because i am traveling to the philippines next year and i want to be ready i will probably invite my friend as well who will be traveling with me i think it will be fun to react to a video about Chiargao, for instance or other islands that i intend to visit you know so Malaming malaming salamat po, and if you got value out of this video, do not hesitate to check out my other reaction videos right here.